I tell you what, I get charged up. I come out here, I get your energy, makes me go, makes me work. But then I see Vicki Lee. We've been together 22 years. And she's going, uh -huh. oh yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> you all have the ticket to the train to success, right? We all have it. We just got to make sure we use the ticket. You also have to understand you have to have the vision, the belief in yourself, in Market America, and the business that you represent. But you have to have some risk for the reward. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you about risk and reward. I had the pleasure of listening to one of my favorite speakers this past Sunday, and he was talking about a man who had a one-gallon bucket that he would carry his oil to make sure that he had lamps and lights. And a person came to him and offered him 50 gallons of oil. But the man only had a one-gallon bucket. And he didn't know whether to take the gift or not. So he decided not to take the gift. Now, 50 gallons of oil would have taken him nearly a full year of light and heat for his small home. Now, it wasn't that the supply was not there. It was in his thinking and his capacity that he could accept such a gift. Now, ladies and gentlemen, think about that because I thought of you. I thought of the fact that you have the ability and maybe you have one ticket to the World Conference, maybe two or you might have bought three, but you have the capacity of bringing 10 or 20 people, but I don't think you want to get a bigger bucket. I think you're afraid to believe in what you can achieve, but the gift is there and I've got to get you to take it. Because when it all comes down to it, you'll all lead one day. You'll all lead one day and I'll tell you why. Because as a leader, as the commitment of the leader goes, you unleash the power of the team. The team, the team, the team. That is what we build and that is what we work for. And if you remember that, you can lead and you can gain belief. But you don't have to believe me because I want to bring up some very important people that have built teams from the third results producing activity. You heard Kevin was sell products. You heard Jim yesterday was selling the business. And I'm here to sell education and your belief that you can sell tickets so that more can achieve. So our first speaker, which will be one of four countries that we represent in this segment, because what we do is a system and it works worldwide. The first couple is a rather unique couple. We know him as Big Al, all right? And Big Al is an amazing individual because of his wife, Debbie. They're, they're from Salisbury, Maryland, but you gotta love them. For 16 years, he worked for the state of Maryland he was a law enforcement agency person in a prison. And he came out. He came out of the prison and he created wealth for many people. If you take a look at it, he's won a lot of rewards with both he and Debbie's efforts, President's Challenge, Jerry Siciliano Award. But his most important achievement to me is the team and the success he's built within his team. So help me welcome to the stage, Big Al Yanch and his wife, Debbie. I'm going to start out by saying that you know behind every successful man there's a woman. Roll in her eyes. <laughs> Keep the main thing the main thing. Yeah, okay. Got it. Um, I want you all to realize that what brought you here to this event was fate. Fate brought you here. 
If it wasn't meant to be, you would not be here. And I want you all to realize as well that all of these people sitting down front, all of your top money earners, and all of the people pictured on the slide started out the same place as everyone else. They all have skills and abilities that everyone has. It just takes determination, commitment, and drive to make this business happen. But there's key points that we do in this business. We sell tickets, I mean, we sell products. We show the plan. And I'm talking about showing the plan to everybody. Talk to everybody. But I think the most important is we sell education. Because education is key in this business. And then we go out and identify people we're showing the plan to. And we are at the height of their interest to know what's the next step. And we get them in front of other people. I'm a dot connecting fool in this business because it's all about people helping people. And again, we promote events, getting people to the small events. But I really think the magic moment is being here today because we all walk away with nuggets, a couple nuggets this weekend. We don't know what your nugget will be, but here is our nugget 18 years ago. 18 years ago, we started in this business, like I said, on the same level as everyone else who starts out. And if you'll notice in this picture, we're very proud of this picture, I'm not in it. But we got her to that event. Matter of fact, she says we lied to her. They lied to me. And you know, you have to do what you have to do, but, but don't be weird to what? get somebody where you want them to be. And they told me we were going shopping. Now we live in a very small rural community with not a whole lot of anything going on. So they said I could go shopping. That was a big deal for me. And I got a weekend away from the, chi from the kids. By noon, I thought we were done. I thought the whole event was over and we were hitting the mall. I could feel those new shoes on my feet. But the key is, here is her nugget. She got one nugget, and it wasn't JR. No disrespect to JR, but here was Debbie's nugget. A it, young couple from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Rachel and Shane Patterson, very young in the business, and that's the only thing she can remember at that event. So sometimes it takes, as overwhelming as these events may be, and you get a lot of information, you're on overload. But take away something. Find that one nugget. This was mine. It was recognition. Recognition is what did it for me. I was a school teacher making minimal amounts of money, and I was working hard to improve my position as a teacher. Here are these young people walking across this stage at a professional coordinator income, and I was impressed. So thank you, Rachel and Shane. We, we talk about you all the time. But it's all about commitment. It's all about these next events. Again, at the height of somebody's interest, they ask you, what's my next, next step? You need to pull out that ticket, that $30 ticket. Then you move on about getting them to the major event. Please don't bring people into business without getting to and selling tickets because this what all comes down to. That $200 ticket from Miami is commitment. And we only work with people in our organization that pre-purchase tickets. So if you're in my group, and you don't buy tickets to World Conference, please don't call me and ask me to show the plan, do a three-way or nothing, because I'm not working with you. Because it's all about commitment. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, this, this family right here, these brothers and sisters, incredible people, they are so committed to you and I, and so many people. And we thank these guys all the time. But you know what? They want it more for you guys. So please, as Debbie says, when you buy three, what do you do? I'm, I'm just gonna give you all some incentive. Buy three, I'll give you Al for free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Al. Thanks, Debbie, that's awesome. Al and Debbie Etz, always good, always good. You betcha, join us in Miami. All right, that's February now. I'm very excited about where we're headed here because we're going north to the great country of Canada. This individual, I had the 
pleasure of meeting with Lauren and JR and Kevin. We were on a blitz tour going around and flying into cities, flying out of cities, and there was this guy. Um, his name was Donald T. And um, Donald, three years ago, said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it in a big way. I'm going to support the NMTSS. I'm going to grow. And today, he is an executive director exceeding $25,000 in income in a four-week pay cycle. He has a great commitment. He has integrity, and he is truly a leader. He leads by example. So please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Donald Chi. My name is Donald Chi from Toronto, Canada. Woo! Hey. People often ask us how many people one needs to have in their organizations in order to make a six-figure residual income in a business. I don't blame these individuals because people don't know what they don't know. It's not so much the number of people as the number of quality people that really matters here. By quality people, I refer to those true believers who will do UFOs and go UFOs, who will put efforts to get themselves paid residually, who will be leaders to impact others so that others would do the same. So the bottom line is the belief. But this is not the issue here, as everybody knows this. The real issue here is how you can make others, including your spouse, believe in what you want them to believe. There is a fundamental difference between the fact that people believe you as an individual and the fact that people believe in the business itself. Only when the people believe in the business itself can they become a real go now distributor and build a business seriously. One of the reasons why my wife and I have built our business fast is that at a very early stage of our distributorship, we realized that a person can never be truly convinced by anybody else to do something seriously. That the only person who can convince them is themselves. And that the world conferences and international conventions are the most powerful places where people can quickly establish their strong belief in the business. When the belief is there, great results will emerge. Therefore, one of the most efficient and effective result-producing activities is what? Everybody follows me. Buying and selling event tickets. Buying and, and selling, selling event, event tickets. tickets. As a well-known saying goes in this field of marketing America, more meetings, more success, right? Let me show you something here. Lou sponsored Alvira Sanchez in Toronto. Alvira sold a 2014 World Conference ticket to her sister, Patty, in Mexico. Patty attended the World Conference in Miami back in February. She built a strong belief in the unfranchised business. She went back to Mexico and built a great team in Mexico within just a short few months' time, all by herself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the power of a ticket. Look at this. These are some of her great partners in her team in Mexico. So a ticket could create a believer who could build an entire new team from scratch. In other words, a ticket could create a dreamer, a believer, a leader, and a winner. Now, let's talk about ticket selling. Ticket selling is an art of strategy. We need to know when, where, how, to whom to sell an event ticket effectively. 
Here, I would like to share with you three of the useful tips for ticket selling. Tip number one, ticket before registration. That is, use a good timing. We usually commit a new distributor to a ticket to the World Conference and International Convention even before they are registered. People join in the business in order to succeed. So they would appreciate whatever good tips you may have to offer them at that time to help them succeed. Tip number two, teamwork. That is, use the team power. Tickets are best sold when the team people get together with a positive energy and share their positive views and uh, pos positive views and uh, fond memories of event attending. Re re research shows that people buy things out of excitement, especially in a very pleasant atmosphere. And tip number three, third person sales. That is, use the ABC pattern. Leverage the power of a successful leader who would put an emphasis on the importance of plugging to the NMTS system. Of course, you can use all these three above mentioned strategies at one time to reach an optimal result. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be successful, use your time wisely. Invest your time and energy on the one of the most important things that is buying and selling tickets. Don't forget to buy your at least three World Conference tickets. My time is up. See you at the top. Thank you. Thank you, Donald. Very good. Very good. You're good. Donald Chi. I do have to say, the beautiful thing about Donald, he was part of the NMTSS. A special congratulations to all the Canadians that participate in building that NMTSS system, not only in Toronto, but uh, Ottawa, as well as Vancouver and Ca Calgary. And uh, a big thank you to Christina Salvador keeping that going. Let's move to the other side of the world. All right, let's talk about another country that everyone should visit in a lifetime, and that would be Australia. Uh, Australia is one of our beautiful countries that work with us in our 10th year, and without a doubt, there are great things happening. This next couple that's coming up, Kurt and Megan Fittler, they are senior master coordinators and they have made it in less than a year. They'll let you know in the timing that they have. But what's, what instrumental was is the way that their sponsor brought them into the business to build house to house and event to event. Their sponsor is a guy I think we all know, Andy Webb. Well, Andy Webb worked his magic not only here in the United States, but he worked it over in Australia. This couple is dynamic. You will be seeing them and hearing a lot of them. I'm putting my money on them to be top leaders in that country. Please help welcome to the stage, Megan and Kurt Fittler. Being at the International Convention is possibly one of the most important things you can do for your team and for your business. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I guess one of the reasons why we've been invited up here today is uh, to discuss our secret. And um, uh, it's something that we've been implementing with our team in Wollongong since uh, September last year when we started our business on the 13th. But um, it, uh, it's a big secret. Do you all wanna know what the secret is? Do you wanna know what the secret is? Yes. Okay. All right, get out your pen and paper, because here it is. We build from event to event. That's it, okay? At least I thought that was a secret because my man Andy Webb said, this is the secret to success. And then as I started to go further into the business, I realized that everyone knew what this one secret was, but we've been implementing it ever since the beginning. The first, very first NMTSS event that we ever went to was a local event, okay? And we arrived at the local event three days before we registered our business and six days before our queue date, which was Friday the 13th of September. And we arrived as a guest. Andy sold us two tickets after he took us through the business as a two-on-one in our home. And then we had a second look with one of our business prospects uh, at a home kickoff, again at our home. And he said, if you guys are seriously considering this business, you need to come along to the local event this Saturday 
um, to really experience what the unfranchised business system can deliver. So that's what we did. We bought two tickets, they were $30 each, one for Megan, one for myself. But little did we know that in doing so, we allowed Andy to leverage the NMTSS. And he got us in front of a lovely lady by the name of Stacy Tung. You may have heard of her, I think she has a small organisation in Taiwan. Okay, but we went along to the local event and, uh, and Stacey blew our mind, okay? And we, Megan and myself, we purchased six tickets to the next event as guests. We, ha we hadn't started our business yet. So as guests, we purchased six tickets. Two, three days later, we registered our business, okay? And the rest is history from there, okay? We began to build uh, in the home, in our home, okay? Uh, under Andy's guidance. Uh, we did home kickoffs. We locked in every Tuesday, the Tuesday of every week, to do a home kickoff in our in our um, in our house. And um, we were working with Mel and Max on our right, and Jay and Jared on our left. And it was our goal to get more and more people in front of Andy, who was presenting every Tuesday. So we did one-on-ones and two-on-ones, and we really wanted to ensure that we were able to do that. Okay, uh, we wanted to be able to go from HBP to HBP with more and more people. Okay. And then we helped our new business partners register their business, uh, and we helped them do the same. And we were selling tickets to the next event um, to our new business partners and our new prospects as well. Okay? Uh, so that's basically what we did. One-on-ones, HBPs, we set up a UBP, and then into the local. The following local that we sold tickets to was uh, to a couple out of Maryland with their own language. I think they call it Big Albonics. But uh, we had 15 people to this event. Um, and our smashed our organisation out of the park. They still don't sleep properly at night. They still don't sleep at night. It's a really good thing that our isotonics line carries magnesium and our tryptophan, because we need it. Uh, we went from here and we actually set up a UBP in Wollongong. Um, we, hadn't, uh, we didn't have an NMTSS in our local area, apart from maybe an hour away, so we worked with Andy to set up our first UBP. Uh, there was 18 people to that first event in January of this year. Okay. Now just get fast forward a little bit, our last guest speaker was Kelly Wider. Where are you? There he is. Kelly Wider had come and spoke with us. Six months later, 73 people, 18 to 73, building one event to the next. We continued to grow through to the February local where Andy Webb, Ann Loke, James Ling and Colin Small, some local leaders in Australia, took us through the basic five. We did the same with the uh, national convention with Dennis Franks and Andy Webb. Uh, in March of this year. We did the same for the July, uh, with Gigi. We haven't got a photo for Gigi, but we did the same for Gigi Saucida. She took us through the basic five and training, and she also took us through a health training the following day, getting as many people to those events as we possibly could. And then Kelly came out in July uh, last month, and, uh, and he took us through uh, the basic five. He broke it down, broke the basic five down into simple strategies that we could implement that were easily duplicatable for proven success. And he's a leader. He has over $25 million club members in his organization. <laughs> Megan and I also run a traditional business. We work in the health and medical, or allied health and medical industries. And the reason I bring this up is because as part of our requirement as clinicians and practitioners in Australia, we, um, um, we have to continue uh, our education and we have to get credits and accumulate those throughout each year. And the reason I bring that up is because the best speakers for our traditional business are li all live overseas. And for us to get our team, our traditional team in front of the best speakers, we need to maybe outlay uh, maybe $10,000 to get a speaker from maybe the States or from Europe or you know the Prague Institute of Movement or something like that to come out and talk to us. Okay, So $10,000 upfront cost. We then have to try and create a system to sell some spots to that particular event um, in order to reduce the per person cost of that particular teaching, okay? So if we do really well at that, we might sell 40, 40 spots to our associates and affiliates, which brings that per person cost down to $250. If we don't do so well, and there's times when we haven't, okay, we might only sell 20 spots, which is $500. And the reason I bring this up is because it blows my mind how lucky we are to have the NMTSS, okay? Give us a shout out if you've utilized the NMTSS at some point. And if you don't have one in your area, then create it. Make it happen, okay? Yeah, if, if, if you haven't got one in your area, then create it. Get together with your team and create it. 
But the reason why I think it's so remarkable is an upfront cost. You purchase three tickets, they're $30 each. That's $90. Traditional business, $10,000, okay? NMTSS, $90, okay? You sell two to your prospects or your, or your future business partners, you keep one for yourself, that's $30, okay? Final investment, 30 versus traditional business, 250 to 500, okay? Now, if you break that down to monthly, it's an expense of $12.50 per month, okay? That's $12.50 per month for your organization to be uh, taught by the best in the business, okay? $12.50 per month to see Andy Webb, to see Kelly Wider, to see Gigi Saucitas, to see Olivia Lee, who we're gonna see in next month on Friday, the, on the 13th of September. $12.50 per month, okay? We set a goal when we first started in the business to reach a new pin level every single local uh, training for the first 12 months, okay? We now have an amazing organization. We have 150 tickets sold to see Olivia Lee. We're closing in on professional coordinator and cycling weekly. Okay. You leverage the NMTSS. Uh, buy three tickets to the next event and build from event to event. You cannot leave where you will not go. Thank you, have a great day. Sorry, we're <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Kurt Fiddler from Sydney, Australia. Actually, Wollongong, Australia. Beautiful. All right, so let's go up a little north and a little west. And we're starting to put together a trend here. Success, tickets, tickets, success. Well, this next young lady you fall in love with when you meet her, I remember when Joanne, she first introduced her to me, uh, I was quite uh, impressed, a high energy kind of person. It was in Taipei, and it was amazing what she said to me, that she was gonna do something big in the business, and sure enough, our next speaker is what I would consider somewhat of a superhero. Her name is Stacy Tung. She has been a big supporter of the NMTSS, not only a supporter, but a part of it. She's been a UFO 26 quarters. She's also met the President's Challenge 14 times, Motives Challenge 12 times. She's also had the Web Center Challenge six times and the TLS Challenge three times. This woman knows how to build. Please help me welcome to the stage, Stacy Tong. Thank you, Coverty and Dennis give me this opportunity to be here. But why I'm here? Nine years ago, I was just a principal education, education teacher. I never thought about I can be an international entrepreneur like this way, some, someday like this way. 2007, Miami Convention was my first one in the United States. I remember that time, I was shocked. I realized there's a huge opportunity for the average people, someone like me. I saw a lot of unfranchised owners make residual income with the two to three years plan. Then I dare to dream. But at the same time, I really have a lot of questions. Can I do it? Can I make it? And I want the answer right away. And how good it is. The event teaches us how to build up the team, how to build up the relationship to the people, how to establish our attitude and knowledge with the business. I try to learn, and then when I go back home, I just take action. I try to build up a relationship with people. I try to do the retail, try to do the recruit. It's not easy. Some may work, some may not work, but it's okay. I get more and more experiences from what I'm doing. But at the same time, I have questions again. That's why I can't wait. I can't wait to come back to the event because I need the answers again. Let's go back. I always come back with a reason. I know why I'm here. Because I'm the one, I need this opportunity. I am the one I want to fight for my future, for my dream, not just for a living. I'm the one, I have the question, I need the answers, and I'm the one. I need to learn what to do and how to do it, even how to take the team to do it at the same time. Then, I am the one, I need the courage and belief to take action. It's really not easy for the average people, but we can do it, we can make it, because I'm the one always come back to Mark American family. People here will help us.
the event such as HBP, UBP, Basic 5, ECCT, local seminar, moving up seminar, regional event, and convention in Taiwan and in the United States. All the leaders, all the speakers, they have done everything already. We just need to follow their, their steps. They try very hard to solve our problems. Remember, it's our problem. We have no time. We have no money. We have no background. We have no relationship. We have no skill to build up the relationship. We dare not to speak. We dare not to show the plan. It's our problem. But the people here, they try hard to solve our problem. They help us. There's always someone who have done already, everything already. We just follow them. It's the, un it's the unfranchised DNA. We learn, we teach, we manage, and we help each other build up this business as a team. How nice it is. People around here not only inspire us, but support us, but help us. And who is the first one always doing, do, doing this? Of course, JR. Everybody knows JR's story. We all know why and how he bought his very first ticket. I remember there's once he stand up, he, he, he mentioned about his story again and again, then he cried. Because JR said, what if he didn't buy the ticket? What if he didn't show up the event? Then there will be no Mark American. There will be no shop.com, no corporate team, no residual income, no event, no you and me here. How terrible it is. Then I cry. I just realized how important is the power of the ticket. So I want to do the same thing like JR. I want the unfranchised DNA. I want this DNA. So I buy the ticket all the time. I always set a goal to buy the ticket, not only one or three. I buy 21 every, every time from the beginning because I will set the numbers. If my team, I won't push other people to buy the ticket, but I will push myself to buy more. If I cannot, my team cannot reach the number, I will go out to buy more and more to make the numbers because it's my business, it's, it's my family. And I have to do, do this just like JR. And that's why I have the team over there with me. Trust me, I'm so proud of them. We have 260 people from Taiwan this time. Every time more than 200, maybe next time more than 300. Trust me, it's not easy from the beginning. I was alone a couple years ago, just over there. But I never feel lonely because we are of Mark American family. So we just want, we need to do, just, just receive the torch. They take it just like the torch and learn how, how to pass it. Pass it with the showing plan. Pass with your heart. Pass with your story. With the people, the story by the, the people's stories around here, and we all can make it. And try to invite them to this lovely and nice Mark American family. That's what I'm doing, and I love what I'm doing because it's not only make I have make me have the residual income. It made me feel like I can become a better person. It's really a better me. I'm still very small, but I can do something bigger, much bigger than me. Thank you, JR. Thank you, Mark American. I love you all and see you in Miami. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Stacy Tung, amazing. Did you love her? Oh my God. That is a great family member right there. Okay, so. Took a couple notes, as I always do, just like going to the Moving Up seminar. I just want to summarize a couple things for you and make sure that the points came home. You met four different lovely people, four businesses from four different countries, all with the same message of growth and success that begins with the gathering of eagles. And to come into the nest, you have to have a ticket. And anybody that you think that's ever going to be a part of this nest is going to have to get a ticket. All right? But we're not talking about anything. We're talking about time. And let me tell you what. We talk about money, but when it comes down to it, 
Time is truly our most valuable asset. And we tend to waste it rather than use it and leverage it. If you had 10 people here, you would accomplish so much more than just the three days of your time. You would accomplish months of work. Those 10 people would turn into 30 people, and then 90 people, and then so on and so on and so on. You know, if you share a good idea long enough, you know what? Eventually, people are going to start believing it. And you're not talking enough. You need to make it happen. I'm not saying to go crazy. I, I really am not. I'm saying to be consistent. Consistent. A little bit each day accomplishes a lot over time. But I want you to increase the tempo. Did you ever hear pick up the tempo? All right. I need you to get some more pep in your step when it comes to selling a ticket. I need you to sell a ticket today and don't wait for the last two weeks before the next event. I need you to remember two very important things. In life, emotion rules. You can get somebody pretty excited, can't you? And they'll do something. But in the long term, execution rules. So if you think about what we do, if you think about beginning with at least three tickets, buy three tickets, and if it hurts, buy them anyway. Just sell them faster and replace the money. That's all. Sell them faster and replace your money. Become a master UFO this next quarter. Okay, it starts in October, but that means you're gonna sponsor at least two people, which both of those people should be where? Together at World Conference, okay? Now from getting there, if you're doing the getting started guide, you heard this from these folks up here. Did you hear that? The best time to sell a ticket is even before they're in the business. Kurt and Megan bought their first tickets before they were in the business and then bought six before they signed into the business. That took strength from where? The coach, the sponsor. And you're all going to be sponsors. Does everybody understand that? But if you're not brave enough to believe in that ticket, that that ticket is going to change someone's life, then you are a bad sponsor. You refuse to tell people what does it really take to make it in this business. This is where you're getting the gas, folks. You're getting the gas. You're becoming bulletproof here. That's why we do this. Do you, do you know what you have? You're networking with some of the best people in the world here. In the world. And it's all part of your family. We're all cousins somewhere. And the point is, if we take the education and we sell the ticket, we'll create success. Now, there are some great things going on out and about. Besides the ticket booth up there, don't forget Conquer Entertainment. We've got some super celebrities here. Get some autographs and pictures. Also, remember, if you're going for the money merge account and you're going to take advantage of your three-ticket special, stop by MA Capital Resources and get that quick financial analysis so you can waive that $100 fee. Thank you very much. We'll see you at World Conference. <laughs>